Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about PGS. I built a already built a project for seven segment display. This time, seven segment display with the help of CD four two six PE and five 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 timer. Uh, before that, I have so, to kind of understand what's going on through the seven segment first. So you can see back side here, which is the seven segment. Uh, the pin out you have to understand where the sound segment for each pin out so you can see from here is basically a a is the top part b c d e f g and uh, for the project instead of uh, hooking up at led so just hooking up sound segment to replace the led function what it does is basically here a a is uh, when they took a pin 7 is involved with the A segment to light up. So, so B is B segment to light up. So each segment can light up through the, you know, the they say like logic involved. Then you can light up for each different segment. Let's say 0, then it will be light up A, F, B, C, D, E, like that. A, B, C, D, E, F is the 0. And uh, let's say 1, then we can light up on uh, say E, F. Then 2 is A, B, G, E, D, like that. What's control the sound segment is basically what involves is B, C, D, uh, C, D, 4, 2, 6, B, E, which is one of the IC, B, C, D, which is binary coded decimal, 4, 2, 6, B, E. What it does is it uh, it can provide uh, what it called like sequence increment of the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and back to 0 again. So that is the what is the so let's go through what is understand about the CD426BE uh, pinout. So we kind of know what's going on how it how it control the from binary changes to decimal to light up the sound segment. Okay, right now I'm going through the CD426BE pinout, which is involved here. And uh, this is the CD426BE pinout. Pin 1, which is the clock. Clock, which involved with the 555 timer when pulsing, so it will involve here, which is the pin 1. Then we got a clock inhibit. Pin 2, then display in for the sound segment 3 and 4, enable out. Then we got a carry out, which is pin 5. Pin 6 is F segment, 7 G segment, then we got VSS for the pin 8, VDD for the pin 16, 9, okay, this is the all the segment, which is F, G, C, B, E, A, D is all the sound segment. Reset pin, 15 and ungated C segment out. Okay, this is all the pin, you can go to the circuit digest, which is the website, you can see all the, it can explain all the, what is the each pin function here. And uh, reset pin UCS, okay, which it doesn't involve in my project is 4, 5, pin 4, 5, and pin 14. Pin 4 is uh, display enable out for chaining for 2, 6 seconds. This is maybe for the display for the sound segment for certain timing. Then we cut off the current and voltage. 4. What's the is it? 4, 5 and 14. 5 is the carry out. Signal complete every 10 clock input. Use to clock the six, succeeding decade directly in the multi-decade counting chain. So this is involved in maybe extra extra cell segment if you want to uh, carry out the current through another cell segment display. Then with the not, not last but not least is ungated C segment. This is not affected by the DE input, this output high unless the count is 2. Okay, this is involved with a certain, maybe certain digit value, then it will be go slow. So this ungated C segment, I'm not sure about this. I have to do more research about it. So what's involved here is, this is my uh, schematic, you can see here. Uh, this is uh, got kind of okay, which is CD four two six B common cathode cell segment and any five more mode in mono stable mode. Okay, now uh, let's go through the Proteus software simulation. Before I start any project, I must go through the simulation software. 
once I done the simulation software and it looks good, then I will proceed to the project. What software I use is Proteus 8. It's kind of good software, so let's uh, see how it does. Proteus 8 simulation software. So I'm using here which is Proteus 8 simulation software. Okay, this I'm using is Proteus Design Suite Suite 8.13 something like that then I open the project which is involved with the sound segment see I already created a project recently so I open it same ideal for the project and for the schematic what it does here is just uh, hook up a 9 volt battery here and uh, for uh, and uh, through here then you go 5 5 5 timer so when I run the simulation it should be displaying one it started in one here and uh, when it uh, when I press the push button here, it could go to two, three, four. So in increase increment the value. Control by four two six B. Five six seven eight nine. Back to zero. One two three four five six seven eight and so on. So this pin tree, you can see the pin tree is from the five 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 timer pulsing in mono stable mode. You can see what it does in mono stable mode. And goes to the clock in the 426 PE pin. Go 5678. Let's say I want to reset the number. Goes to the reset button, just reset it to the zero here. So with uh, 10k with the uh, push button for the reset involved here, which is here, which is pin 15. So you can reset back it to zero anytime. So this is kind of the simulation works well. And of course, it will be provided the project also works well. So let's get to see the project what I've done. Yet, uh, here the sound segment project which I built it here. And this one power on, okay, it will display 1. When it pass 2, okay, it's gonna lose here. It should be display on 0. Starting on 0 here. 0, 1, pausing here. Oh, sorry. Here because I thought it's there. So it's here. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the problem here is it does work well. Okay. The increment of the value is works well, but it's too fast. I'm not sure what is it. Is it I should change the value of capacitor here? So it works well here. Just the capacitor value maybe have to increase or because it's too fast pulsing. From the 555 timer mono stable mode then let's say i reset from the pin 9 it does work well five okay reset back to zero so the reset button just works well okay, reset back to zero okay pulse back two three four seven nine zero so it's too fast all things you Pulsing, pulsing. Okay, okay, yeah, and that's about it. I go through a lot of problem before I hooking up this circuit because I'm not sure because I'm kind of beginner and kind of complicate me through the schematic. Often time I involve is uh, which involve for the uh, this project the capacitor value is the capacitor polarity is in wrong direction. Yeah, which I have to change. Then uh, a certain which is the push button have to push in properly, then it works well. And uh, an other problem I encounter as well, which is the wrong wiring. So make sure the wiring is wiring is correct to follow the schematic. And yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learn something. See you in the next project. Bye.